Mario Kart 8 boosts the course for Smash. Seeing how the DLC did for Mario Kart 8 to keep it alive, Zelda does the same thing for Smash Bros. Ultimate. You hold out 5 characters but to cut costs, only one can be for party. You cannot promote assist stories or me costumes to be playable, but you can be spirits. What does Zelda also look like? And he just picks 5 random characters. I think uh, you can't pick Raul Weezy. Raul Weezy is a uh, assist trophy, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, so third party character. So any third party character. Okay. You know, Stark really does need a second character. So not, I'll, uh, I'll pick Dr. Eggman as one third party character. Yes, I know. It's a Sonic character. But Dr. Eggman should be in Smash Bros. He should be in Smash Bros. over Crash Bandicoot or any character I want. Simply because Sonic only has one character. You know, Final Fantasy has two characters for crying out loud. Uh, then we have Kirby. We all, I'll decide to do Kirby character probably Vector Elphus or Galacta Knight. Which he can turn into Morpho Knight. But I'll probably pick Vector Elphus. Magua also is a pretty good option. But Vector Elphus is the newest villain from the newest Kirby game. I know Kirby will turn to Dream Mike Drugs came afterwards. But... If we're picking a uh, fifth, making one now, but Magua is one of the most popular Kirby villains. And I would also pick, you know, if I had to pick a new Pokemon, I would pick Grovile simply because we can finally have a Gen Gen Free representative. Dev, dev, you know, considering I really love Gen Free Pokemon, is it saying that there's no. Pokemon to represent that generation of Pokemon at all. And also we're going to have a presentation for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yes, that's the whole reason why I put Grovow instead of Koridon or Moridon. Okay. And Mario characters, I would... Is Total Me costume? So, you, so you, is, does Total have like a full Me costume? I know Total has like a Me costume in the base game, but also Daisy does. Does. Okay, and Daisy is also in the game. Or does Toad have one as DLC? Okay. Yeah, you have the Toad hat. Okay, as Smash Bros. Ultimate, you do have a Toad one. Kind of like with a lot of the Mario characters, you have like a Mario one. You have a Zelda one, a Peach one. As well. Then we're gonna go for someone else. If Toad is a me costume, we're gonna go for another character from Mario. And no, it's not Geno, because you can't pick Geno. Geno is a me costume. So, if thinking about Mario characters, there's, we're gonna pick Paper Mario to represent that series. I know I could pick like one of the villains of Paper Mario, but Paper Mario should be, you know, especially considering that Fowzier Door is coming around the corner. I think it would make perfect sense. And I would probably pick fifth to be a, like one of the Zelda uh, would probably be a Zelda character. I think I know like a lot of the popular characters that either you know me costumes way. Like, probably like one of the ch- very popular champions in from Breath of the Wild to as Tears of the Kingdom. So yeah. They would probably be the playable fast playable character. Again, I know I don't know anything about Zelda characters besides the major characters, but they're all already assist trophies or me costumes. So we're gonna pick one of the champions from Breath of the Wild. Or heck, we can have him have it like the Pokemon trainer, where we have four characters in one, all the champions in one as one character. So yeah. That'd be a pretty cool idea. You know, it'll probably never be done again, but there's only that Pokemon trainer exists. We can have it, we can switch from all the characters as well. So this DLC will be <laughs> technically it will be like nine characters in one. Okay. Okay, eight characters, not nine characters. But yeah, that's about this video here. Goodbye.